Hi everyone, it's Miss Christie from East Pennsboro Library, and today I'm going to show you how to make beautiful hand print leaf portraits. Let me start by sharing what they're going to look like when you're done. And you can see these have some veins drawn in them to look like the veins that are on leaves. Let's look at what kind of materials we're going to need. For this project, it's pretty easy. <clears throat> You're gonna need chart paper, poster board, or construction paper will work fine too. I just happened to have chart paper, so we did big trees. Uh, red, green, brown, yellow paint, glitter if you want, markers, um, paper plates for easier cleanup. I like to use these because you can wipe them off and use them again if you need to. Um, Let's see, and a paintbrush, which is actually for some of the fun part. So let's take a look at how we are going to do this. This is pretty easy, and I'm going to show you how to do it after I go over the instructions with you, and then I'm going to show you some of our process. My neighbor boys are nice enough to come over and help me make some of the examples. The first thing you do is squirt a small amount of paint onto the paper plate and spread the paint around. Then you place your hand on the plate, making sure that everything's covered. You take the paintbrush and you paint over your hand to spread the paint to make sure it gets in all your grooves. And then you can do this again and again and again with all different colors of paint. You could sprinkle glitter on them. You can draw leaves. You can draw lines on the leaves for the stems. Do anything you want to make this project special. You could even make your leaves any colors that you want. When you press your hand down on the paper, you're gonna to wanna to hold it for about three seconds. So let's take a look at what this is gonna look like. I'm gonna use this gold paint that I happen to have because I thought it was pretty neat when we used it. And I'm just going to put a small amount onto my plate here. And I'm going to take this brush and kind of make sure it swirls around pretty good. I'm going to be able to get my whole hand in it. Let me put a little bit more on here. And for my example today, I'm going to put a glove on because I'm using the computer and I don't want to make a whole big mess. So let's say this is my hand. Put my glove on. And I'm going to put my hand in this paint. And then I want to make sure that, look, see, I missed a lot of spaces. So I'm just going to paint those spaces. This is where it gets kind of fun because it tickles when you're painting your real hand. So I'm just going to paint all those extra spaces. And my leaf is going to have a little bit of texture to it because I got some bumps in my gloves. And now that I got my whole glove all covered, slide my paint tray to the side. I'm going to put my paper down. I'm just going to make a nice, hold that for about three seconds. And I have my hand print. Let me get my glove off carefully. Let me show you what that looks like. So here is my hand print. And I did it on orange paper with the gold. It's a little bit hard to see. There we go. Get a little shine on it. All right. So let's take a look at what some of the finished products are going to look like. All right. So let's take a look at what some of these projects are going to look like when you're all done and we'll look at some of the process that we went through when we did it. We did it outside on a warm day because it can get very, very, very messy. So here is how we got set up for our project. Outside we had everything all ready to go. And here is about halfway through the process. A little bit of cleanup here. You can see we did it out on the ground and I had some spray bottles all ready to go so that we could clean up easily. And I wanna share with you some of our final projects. 
Give me one second here. All right, let's look at some of these projects now that they are finished. Here are some of the things that we did along the way. That was the beginning of one of the projects. And here is a picture of the project as we continue to do it. And there is one of our final ones done. We did it like a tree. And here are a couple more examples of some that we did that I want to share with you quickly. Um, that one, he overlapped the hands a little bit to make it look like real fall leaves, which I thought was pretty neat. And here is one of them completely, totally finalized. And the other one, now, when we drew the veins on the leaves, it didn't turn out quite so good. And I think it's because we used black marker. And finally, I wanna share one more thing with you that you could do with this project if you wanted to get it ready for winter or use something for winter with it. I found this and I thought it was pretty neat. It's a hand print little bird for the winter. And we'll be doing some more hand print stuff for Thanksgiving with turkeys. And we're gonna make a wreath and do some other things. I'd love if you did this project, if you would share them with me and you can do that by sending them to Miss Christie at East, at the East Pennsboro Library, kscrignoli at ccpa.net. Thanks so much and I hope everybody has a great day and join us again soon.